Photographers have been in place since early this morning to capture the image of the soon-to-be royal couple marrying, of course, in May of this year. Um, this is only the second time that they have uh, appeared in public together, the first time up in Nottingham, uh, the same week that they announced their engagement. Uh, Rhiannon Mills is there for us. Lots of excitement, lots of screams, lots of interest, lots of flash photography. Rhiannon. <laughs> Yeah, it is extraordinary and I think uh, this is just a sign of what we can expect to come um, over the next five months as we prepare for Harry and Meghan's wedding. Uh, at the moment, they are being introduced to the usual royal lineup that you would expect. Uh, they were met by Miss Rosie Prescott, who's the Deputy Lieutenant for Lambeth, uh, now being introduced to Councillor Marcia Cameron and also Councillor Elizabeth Peck, who are from... Uh, Lambeth Council and also now I think being uh, introduced to Dr. Uh, Mr. Shane Carey who's the chief executive uh, of Represent who I think is now going to introduce them to a young lady called uh, Little C who is one of the presenters at uh, Represent this community radio station uh, that they're visiting today of course this is only their second uh, official joint engagement together it's unbelievable to think that it's only six weeks ago that we were talking about them being engaged as a couple and I think this is a sign of things to come they are not putting their feet up uh, usually we wouldn't expect to see members of the royal family out and about this early early in the new year, but certainly uh, Meghan's training to be a future royal is definitely underway. And I think it shows that as a couple, their charity work is going to be very important to them. We found out quite quickly after they got engaged that Meghan really wants to try and visit as many parts of the UK as possible. Uh, Prince Harry, a little wave there, and one from Meghan. Thank you. 